Next, the roof ballast can be installed. Always apply the roof ballast the same day the membrane is applied to ensure that the membrane is not displaced by the wind. Typical roof ballast is smooth, washed stone with rounded edges. At a minimum, ballast stone must be three quarters of an inch to one and one half inches in diameter, and it should be free of dirt, sand, and other fine materials. In some cases, crushed stone may be used as ballast, but use it only when a layer of firestone protection mat is installed between the EPDM membrane and the ballast. Concrete pavers may also be used as ballast, providing that a layer of firestone protection mat or an extra layer of EPDM membrane is installed beneath the pavers. Note that whenever firestone protection mat is used as a separator between the EPDM membrane and the ballast, the mat must be completely covered with ballast so that the mat is not exposed to direct sunlight. Ballast is usually transported by conveyor to a staging area on the roof where it is transferred to rubber-tired carts or buggies. The roof membrane in this staging area must be covered with an additional layer of roof membrane and a layer of plywood to distribute the weight of the ballast and protect the membrane from cutting and puncture. From this staging area, distribute the ballast throughout the roof. In most cases, you can distribute the ballast directly from the ballast cart. But some handwork is necessary, especially around roof penetrations. To prevent damage to the roofing membrane, do not run ballast carts over areas that have already been ballasted. Also, do not manually distribute ballast with sharp rakes or similar tools. After you complete the installation of the roof ballast, inspect the completed surface for sharp debris, such as pieces of metal or glass, and remove it.